Hello friends, welcome back to the new lecture on the transmission system and in that we are observing various types of the gear. Till now, we have seen three types of the gears. First gear we have seen sliding mesh gearbox, second we have seen constant mesh gearbox and third and third we have seen synchro mesh gearbox. Now we are going to see another gearbox which is very widely used that is what called as epicyclic gearbox. This epicyclic gearbox is most widely used in automatic transmission system. You might be known what is automatic transmission system and semi-automatic transmission system. Actually in the semi-automatic transmission system the clutch pedal will not be available whereas only gear will be available. In automatic transmission system there is only accelerator and brake. So there will not be any clutch pedal or gear lever, uh, gear lever available on the vehicle. So this epicyclic gearbox is very widely used for the automatic transmission system in which only accelerator and brake will be available. Now let us see the construction of this epicyclic gearbox. In the epicyclic gearbox, as the name indicates, we are using epicyclic gear arrangement. In this particular gear arrangement, you will see that this is the front view of the gearbox and this is the side view of the gearbox. In this, centrally we are having a sun gear. This particular gear is called a sun gear. This is a planet gear. These two are a planet gear. One shaft, here you will observe in a side view that the one shaft is connected to sun gear and to the planet gear we have connected a planet carrier. So this is planet carrier that we can observe in the side view. So the shaft is connected to sun gear and another shaft is connected to the planet gear. So here you can see that planet gear is present. But there will be one more shaft which will be connected to this ring gear. Now what is this ring gear? Ring gear is the internal gear which is in mesh with the planet gear so this planet gear and that will be rotating along with the planet gear so here in this particular epicycle gearbox we will be having an arrangement of connecting input and output shaft to the any one of these three now what are the three components first is the sun gear next is the planet gear and third one is the ring gear these are three type of the gears now here we can observe only two shafts but actually there will be three shafts First shaft will be connected to sun gear, second shaft as shown it will be connected to the planet gear, another third one will be connected to the internal gear or ring gear. At the same time here there will be arrangement to lock any one gear, means we will be having an arrangement to lock sun gear, when we lock a sun gear, sun gear will not be rotating or we can lock the planet gear, so if planet gear is locked then the planet gear will not be rotating and when ring gear is locked then ring gear will not be rotating so we will have an arrangement suppose one gear is locked another two gear for example let's say i will tell internal gear is locked then another two gears one is sun gear and planet gear one will be acting as an input member another will be acting as an output member another example let's say we have locked sun gear if you lock sun gear now remaining two gear that is a planet gear and the ring gear out of these one will be acting as input member and another will be acting as a output member so here this typical arrangement will be available of locking the gear at the same time taking the power output from any one gear and giving the power input to the any gear so such kind of arrangement will be available now from the knowledge of theory of machine subject you should know that when we are going to lock any one gear we will get a different speeds so here if I lock sun gear I will get a different speed at the output if I lock ring gear I will get different speed at the output if I lock planet gear we can get the different speed so by locking any one gear we can get a very different speed and the speciality of this particular epicyclic gearbox is we can achieve wide variety of variation in the speed so that is what is speciality and as I told you this will be used in automatic transmission system this is all about uh, epicyclic gearbox.